Bermuda, a 21 square mile island with a population of approximately 65,000 people and sitting over 600 miles off the U.S. East Coast, Bermuda is different from most places on Earth. Known as the Isle of Devils in the 1600s, it has no easily available supply of fresh water. So if Bermuda was going to be able to be colonized, then there was a need of fresh water. Over time, a variety of ways have been used to catch rainwater. We still use rainwater, cold on our roofs, and then channel down gutters into large tanks under our houses. We then use this tank water for drinking, washing, and much more. This means we have to be sparing when it comes to our water usage. We are almost totally reliant on rain, therefore a drought could be detrimental to our society. However, although we have come close in the past to running out, we haven't done so yet. Hi, I'm Crystal Lambert. It is hard to imagine that we live on an island of Bermuda surrounded by all this beautiful water, but we can't drink it. And so for four centuries, we've come up with ingenious ways to supply ourselves with potable water. Good afternoon, Mr. Rogers. As a local historian, can you tell us a little about the history of the Bermuda Roof? Sure. Well, I think it's fair to say that when the first settlers came in four centuries ago, they thought they had it made. They came during a hurricane, and so it was pouring down, and so they collected water in barrels, and they used that. Uh, they came to realize there were no rivers here, the rock was so porous, and so they had to keep using those barrels of water. Uh, then they decided that they'd start to build cabins using palm or palmetto thatch, uh, they leaked like a sieve, and so they whitewashed uh, those palm leaves and collected the water uh, off the edge of roofs in barrels again. Uh, moved on to using our famous cedar trees to make a shingle roof like you see in the States. Uh, and then we get to the roof that we see here today, the, uh, the slate roof. And we've basically been using the slate roof since, well, in fact, this house was built in the 1720s. So it's, uh, it's a history that goes back well over 300 years. Hello, Mr. Rigo. Can you tell us about what a Bermuda roof is made out of and why? A Bermuda roof is made of timbers, all knitted together supported by the other walls of the building and um, it's all nailed together and uh, it's measured out in certain lengths for fitting the um, stone on, you know, the slate. I've always wondered why the roofs are stacked. Is there a reason why? That's a great question, actually. Uh, they haven't always been that way. Sometimes uh, in history they decided just to abut one stone up to another uh, and then whitewash it. And what they found was the water ran off the roof too fast to catch it and also the roof leaked because the tiles came separate from each other and the water came between. So what they figured is if they actually overlap the stone one over the other, it actually slows the water down increases the surface area, you catch more water, it gets purified to a higher level, and because the stones lap over each other, you don't get so many leaks. Problem is that you're using more stone, so it costs more, and the problem is that the roof is much heavier, and so you have to have thick walls, you have to have buttressing, all sorts of supports to uh, stop the house from falling down. But again, with this house, it's been there over 300 years and uh, it's still going strong. So uh, we really seem to have worked out how to do it properly. How does the Bermuda roof tie in with catching water? To catch water on the roof for our consumption, you know, the water we use that goes in our thing. After you slated the roof, we have a gutter stone, which is a triangle shape, and it's cemented all the way along the edge of the roof from one end of the roof to the other, wherever the pipes are, the inlet pipes, catch, which catch the water that goes into the tank. 
course, it has to rain first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's how the water is caught. So what you're saying is, for three centuries, we've been making roofs out of stone. The question is, where does it come from? Well, it comes from local quarries. There are lots of them, and there's one just down the street. Would you like to come see it? That'll be great. So here we are, Chris Lynn, at uh, what we call a startup quarry. And so this is where you get the block to uh, make uh, a Bermuda house out of. I think you can tell that this has been cut. Mm -hmm. So the little um, wedge down the back there, they drive a big spike down. Uh, they do the same about here. And then they bring down a big block of stone. Uh, and then that will be cut into uh, a block for building uh, the walls of a Bermuda house. I'm here with Mr. Martins, General Manager of the Grotty Bay Hotel. Mr. Martins, you obviously can't collect enough water for all your guests. What is the option you have come up with? Here at the hotel, what we do is we, as you said, collect water for guests on the roofs and we have two reverse osmosis plants producing 25,000 gallons of fresh water uh, made out of salt water on a daily basis. Is the water quality as good as rainwater? The water quality actually I think is better than um, rainwater since it is so pure, it's hospital grade, um, it's tested on uh, uh, daily basis, the, the equipment itself actually tests the parts per million. Uh, it's extremely pure. 